Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm up in the studio goofing off. Uh, now, I wanted to make this video and let you know that I put the uh, choke hazard, the new choke hazard, in the store on the home page, first item. Uh, called it uh, Choke Hazard Turbo. Uh, I'd like to take the time to thank Trail Hound for the idea. Uh, it, it worked well. That was, that was a good experiment and uh, it really increased the heat of the stove. Now, the original choke hazard I discovered worked, uh, it's not a high heat stove, worked pretty well uh, to bake with if you want to hang around, keep feeding it. Uh, bake and simmer both work pretty well, especially with a 12 centimeter pot. Uh, now the new one, this one, uh, the uh, turbo, uh, I wouldn't recommend trying to bake with that or simmer. It's basically hot enough to just boil water. And uh, you kind of got to hang around and feed it every now and then because it doesn't have a lot of reserve. Now somebody asked, two people asked, one asked about uh, for getting the pot stand and putting the pot right on it. Tried that, didn't seem to like it very well. It got really, really hot and it didn't tolerate the pot when you put the pot on it. It died right back because it's just so small and it's extremely tippy. In fact, I right here in the studio, I tipped it over. I, I cook inside of this stand so it just went into the stand but got everything wet so I don't recommend uh, trying to cook right on top of it. No worky turkey. Second thing was somebody asked if you use it with a like a big gulp or an SS remote. Okay, here's the deal on that. Uh, any of these stoves that anybody makes, if they don't have some way to cool themselves, uh, either with a heat sink or with the uh, silicone thermo heat block that I use, heat dam, if they don't, they're going to get hot. Well, when they get hot, like this one does, uh, this is boiling the alcohol inside of it all the time. That's one reason why it's so hot. So if you try to feed it with an SS remote or a big gulp or anything else, as I've seen in some videos with other stoves, uh, you watch right here, you'll see that the uh, uh, bubble will push the alcohol back into the hose and then it'll come forward and then it'll push it back. Okay, if it's doing that, what it's doing is it's boiling the alcohol inside the stove and underneath the felt it's creating a little bit of pressure and pushing it back up the line. And with an SS remote, the pressure feeding the stove is absolutely minimal. So any back pressure you get from boiling alcohol is going to stop the remote from feeding. You're going to have to pick it up and goof around with it. Uh, it's not going to be one of the things you can walk away from. Uh, this one I'm using a big hose which helps a lot and I keep the remote elevated and it seems to work pretty well if you give it a dose uh, you can watch it go right down the hose but I've tried it with the smaller hose with remotes and even with a bigger hose with remotes and mm, doesn't work very well uh, this works very well you just gotta hang around and, and shoot some in every now and then from your bottle it's shh, no big deal uh, but this is a super super lightweight stove uh, for a primary, for a really hot primary stove, I guess what I'm trying to say is the uh, heat to gram ratio on this stove and the the uh, packability is probably, I don't think anybody makes anything this hot, this small, this light, this simple. That is remote feed. Uh, that's about it. If anybody does, let me know, but I think that pretty much as good as it gets. Imagine having that in your pack for your primary stove and having it hot enough to, to actually boil water e easily. That's uh, Choke Hazard Turbo. Uh, now, yesterday I didn't ship because uh, I ran out of stuff. So yesterday I spent uh, trying to recoup some inventory, I made uh, coffee cabs and some other stuff. And then today I did ship. Today I cleaned uh, the books up and shipped everything out today. Didn't have a huge amount of orders. I think I had six, but those all went out today. But yesterday I had to take the day off. Now I may take tomorrow off, depending on how many orders I have and what they're for, and build tomorrow because I'm out of a lot of stuff. Uh, it's in the store, but it's not in my drawers. And I'm kind of uh, building on one hand and shipping on the other hand right now. So I may take tomorrow off and build again. I'm all out of uh, 
BIOS 5s. I'm all out of a, a quite a bit of stuff that I really need to just stop and build. So, uh, that's pretty much everything for today. It was down like uh, 10 below zero last night, and right now it's the sun's out and it's like 10 above, but this morning it was like 4, so having a really cold day. I, it took me quite a while to get the factory warmed up enough to uh, take my coat off and go to work today, but uh, we got it done. Uh, burning dump wood. Good heat source. Uh, now, Sue's downstairs uh, cooking up <coughs> a couple of different things for her. Uh, she cooks all the time. She, uh, I remember what she's making a casserole today, and then she's making a thing with mushrooms and fiddleheads and all that. So, when she gets done, uh, we're going to go to the dump, see if we can find maybe pick up some more wood. I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design. Try to have a really great day, and try to have some fun today. You deserve it. Bye-bye.